actually uh, doing my masters i started teaching 6th to 10th grade uh, students geography like a 6th grade uh, student was unable to i mean comprehend a basic text that was given to them i used to feel very helpless because i was unable to understand that uh, where is the problem and there was a lot of you know cribbing that i had with the children the, where i always used to think that they are unable to do it they don't want to study and when i today when i walk into the classroom it is there what can i do for my child to that they will be able to understand so that is the shift that actually happened in a teacher uh, which is neha from uh, before the teach for india fellowship and after the teach for india fellowship i've been a teacher for almost 8 years though i was trying to give my best I was not happy. I was not satisfied with what I was doing. Schools where I thought previously we focused more on completion of syllabus. Our only motive is the child is able to write score well in exam. We do not think about what are whether the child is really learning or not. Other eight year of my journey, I never had any expectation for any child. I never had a vision for a classroom. I never had a vision for myself also. Because first year was lots of uh, trial and error. We did many. attempts we saw failure we could not see any spark in the classroom uh, because we were also not clear about our vision what we wanted for our children that's why we both decided i think we want our kids to be independent learners that's the first thing we wanted and the entire second year uh, the first unit of the second year we were working on be- making them independent i used to keep all my 14 at the same level and my vision was all my 14 will reach this uh, goal i never had never broke it down for every uh, other child in the classroom Miss Bai is a child who does not come to school regularly. So I told her if you come to school 15 days regularly, that's my expectation for her. So when we broke down this expectation, then we saw that this is success, and that also made them happy because Didi is not expecting us to reach the same goal like Pratibha is reaching. At the end of the two-year fellowship, I am so happy that I have changed 40 lives in 40 different ways. Uh, I was really inspired by a teacher in my own life, whom I re- I lost where, just before. Four months before I got the letter that I'm, I I was selected for the uh, fellowship. When I see a Sundar doing my classroom, I can see myself uh, when I was at in third grade, where I was unable to speak English. I was I was really shy when my teacher said that. Yeah, it's okay to give a wrong answer, but just try. And that's what I do with Sundar do. I wanted my kids to be fearless speaker. I wanted to create opportunities within the classroom where my kids are getting ample. uh opportunities in a day to speak my entire lesson is a lot of questions which i want my kids to explore by having a group discussion and then i give my input when they give me the answer the entire idea of drama bars was i wanted my kids to uh explore the problems in their own community the kids are being beaten up by their own parents uh the kids are being beaten up in the school by their own uh teachers i i went and i had a talk with a teacher who has beaten my children and I said the teacher this is not done to where that I I thought that no if i'm talking about independency in the classroom how can i bring how can i make them independent to s- tackle these kind of problems and it was not a one day thing that shift that happened it happened over a process of a month where where we explored every idea and this was where the kids finally came that we will choose what we want to become noise pollution water pollution air pollution all these choices come in the classroom that didi we see this and we do this didi we decided that we don't want to so one of the uh, student got very badly burned uh, during diwali um, the kids came up with a choice that though diwali is a very great festival and we really enjoy bursting crackers can we choose to celebrate diwali in a different way rather than just bursting crackers so they came up with different ideas that didi we will spend time with family uh, we will eat good food so this is the very strong choices in the classroom uh, we were te- we were treated as we have been from some other organization where we are here to observe the teachers or give them some feedback or something like that and when when we told them we are from teach for india fellows and we are here to teach we were then given a classroom revti then said one statement uh, in institute the Uh, manager there has seen a spark in you that you are capable about building a relationship here and changing their mindset about what they think about teach for india we trust you that statement when she said that we trust you as uh, i trust you 
when she, we never had any conversation with Revti before. I think that helped us to believe in ourselves that yes, we have some potential in us where we can work for the next two years and bring about some changes. So I had a, I still have the paper where I went and asked mom, tell me what are your expectations from us. So she had given us this is this is our expectation, and we I we had a conversation. No matter how difficult it is, we will not compromise with these things. We also went and started sharing our ideas. We we knew now we what we wanted to do we could do it without compromising, and I think this is this would be possible only with their support. Had mom not given us that freedom, I don't think. We would have done anything different. One of the parent came and said that uh, I'm paying for my kid's education. He, his, but he's not scoring good marks. I, I had an interaction with the parent. I said that uh, we need to work it together. I said, and then he said that no, it's your job. You have to do it. And he actually threw the uh, report card in front of me. Parents were finding it difficult to connect that they also play a role in their child's education. Parent-teacher meeting was not there in the school and uh, the principal used to give the report cards to the parents. So there was hardly any time that we could interact and show that what is the growth, that small things that we could share in the classroom that we see uh, in every child. And in the first parent-teacher meeting that we had, it was a major turnaround in the, for the, in the entire fellowship. And the parents could communicate that the problems they face in the house uh, to you know help their children in learning. One of my kids' mother committed suicide. This is something I can't take. Imagine Sonu going through that, and then he coming back to school. You know, he came back to school. He said, "Didi, I want to continue," and because my mummy said that, study hard. The last PTM I had with her where she said that I, I told her 15 good things about Sonu and she was surprised. She went back with a smile on her face. The teacher used all these all these years I've never heard something great about Sonu. That's fellowship. It teaches you so many things. I mean I don't know if what what will it teach you? Remember that take care of Sonu. That is what is the meaning of the fellowship I have, take care of the 40 kids uh, in the classroom. Because Sonu's mother taught me that. I lost my father when I was in seventh grade. I can't let go of the relationship I have. Uh, These are the moments in my life that has helped me see that I value relationship. Sonu's mother or my father or my teacher, my, who was, I was really close to after my father. I, and I lost her too. I value people a lot. For me, people, my people are very important for me. These emotions, this emotional turmoil that I go through, you know, takes a lot of toll in my, in my entire, like, in a day, okay. Shruti has helped help me to understand that people add value to your life. Don't let them, you know, don't use, I mean, them as, you know, bringing them, you down as a person. You can use them as your strength. The good thing about uh, both of us is only one person has right to get angry at the same time. We understand each other so well that not, it's not just about teaching in a classroom. It's about also doing the household work. I know what is the food she likes when she's sick or she knows what do I like. Bindi. Bindi. Bindi, Bindi is the best. And also uh, that soya bean rice. Oh God, that's really nice. Uh, chicken because she can't cook chicken. So chicken is my department. We read each other's minds so well that like, no one can beat us. Like we have a same goal vision. We think about our kids alike and everything. Maybe if fellows do have that kind of vision, it will help them bring about huge change in the classroom. Uh, we personally never work for ourselves. We work for our kids. I never had a, a mother around me. So I always think that my 40 kids should need a mother. Kids were asked to write a letter, uh, draw a card for their mother. They just wrote it, happy Wednesday, and they wrote some good things. And I told them, take it home and give it to your mother. They said, teacher, for, did you for one day, can you be a mother? And this is for you. So I was so happy. Like I made my kids feel safe in the classroom. 
my kids have made me believe that the trust and love is something which can change everyone. I am a kind of person who would never trust anyone. But the first thing I did uh, after getting committed to a relationship is I started trusting the person. Those moments of one-on-one -on -one interaction when I have uh, with kids is the moment I feel that I am being my true self. That I try to understand people the way they are. I try to accept people the way they are. This would, would not have been possible if I was not there in that class with the 40 children. Like Siddhi Rehan, he, he does not study. He will never write in, uh, in line. He will never stand in the, uh, in the class and give me answer. He will never bring his books on time. He will never bring his pencil. He has, he has all this, but he's beautiful as a person. And that is what I had, a, this is a great realization that I had, that everybody is beautiful in their own way. Are you ready to accept them the way they are? I'm thankful to uh, Teach for India for giving me this lovely bunch of 40 kids who have helped me move up my own comfort zone to a person who was uh, more dependent on someone to somebody who is now independent to a person who was uh, afraid of failure to someone who is now more courageous to someone who never believed in uh, love to someone who believed that love do exist as an organization, they trusted us and they gave us 40 child custody. I think I was not wrong in signing the commitment form then. Had I not signed it form there, then and there, maybe I would regret it for life, uh, for lifelong seeing others' journey.